In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, completing assignments from the uh, MS Office text. First, what we'll take a look at is uh, creating a folder structure for saving homework, opening student data files for assignments, and then uh, saving those assignments. So initially, what we'll take a look at is creating a folder structure uh, that you may have already. Uh, this is typically a uh, first semester course uh, or certainly first year course and uh, and so I wanted to give you just a quick rundown on how you might create a folder structure to save your homework. Uh, you might create a folder called homework within your documents uh, folder and in this case uh, create a course or a folder called CS110. You may have, uh, you may be in the AGE or BCIS course so, uh, so make those changes as is appropriate. Within that folder, you probably want to put in Access, Excel, Integration, PowerPoint, and Word as folders. Enter those. And then finally, as soon as you get a little while um, into uh, a little time into the course, you'll have these particular assignments sitting out there in that Word folder. So um, if you need to resubmit those assignments or rework work on them or, or anything else, you'll have uh, a list of the completed assignments or an archive, if you will, of the completed assignments. Now, to go and uh, and to do this, we we would want to go to Start, bottom left hand corner of the screen, Computer, and I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, Documents. Okay, to create a folder in Documents, right click, click New. There we go, Folder. I'm going, to, I'm going to call it homework. Double click into my homework folder. Now I'm in that directory, or that folder. I want to new folder, CS110, and put uh, the particular semester is always a good idea. Now if you have other classes, again, um, in the example, I think I had a, a site course, Psych 100, now, in the CS 110 course, or AGE 250, or BCIS 110, I'll double click into this course, right click, and then put in, uh, I know I'm going to have word assignments. I know I'm going to have Excel assignments, and so on. Okay, I'll just leave a word and Excel in there. Again, to create folders, you can right click, click new folder and we also have access assignments. Okay, So that's how to create that folder structure or that directory structure. Then you'll double click into Word for the assignments. Now I'm going to minimize this and then um, and then what we're going to do is go into Word and if you follow along in the text I'm going to start at uh, Unit B page uh, Word 26 and we're going to start working on that uh, tutorial from uh, from Unit B. So I'm going to go and uh, there we go. I guess I'll need to leave that open and uh, find Word, Microsoft Office, Word 2010. Okay, now, so I've opened Word. Step one on page Word 26 says, start Word, click the File tab, click Open, navigate to the drive and folder where you uh, store your data files, and then click on wdb-1.docx. And then we'll open that. Okay, so File, Open, and remember in the last video where we put our data files. They are out on Drive C and I'll scroll down to Course Technology and again that was in the Illustrated folder, Microsoft Office, Data Files and I'm going to scroll to Word Unit B and then click on WDB-1 and open it. 
Okay, so that's what that file uh, looks like. Now, the second step says to save this file back again. So step number two says click File tab and then Save As. File, Save As. Okay, and then it wants you to type WDB dash lecture. So let's go here WDB dash lecture and PR. Okay, that's all well and fine. But if you notice, the default directory is Word Unit B. That's where the data files come from. I need to go and save this file into my new uh, directory structure that I've made. So I'm going to go to Documents. You notice how it's now changed to Library and Documents. Double click Homework. Double click um, CS110. Double click Word. And I'm in my Word folder. We can see we're in Homework, CS110, and Word. And then save it there. Okay. Now, the tutorial steps will help, will go out and uh, allow you to do some editing, or will ask you to do some editing on this particular file. So it doesn't change a lot. The final look of this file is, it looks like this. So, um, contact your name, and we can see there are some uh, paragraphs down here, the, and take a look at the formatting. And we'll take a look at the original, and there's additional paragraphs in in the original, so it's going to ask you to take some paragraphs out, change your name, and do some basic things like that. Um, the each one of the steps, each one of the uh, assignments, will have you do something similar. There's only a couple of assignments that actually doesn't have you um, doesn't have you go and uh, and uh, load up something from the data files. So I think that shows you how to create a folder structure. Uh, we open student data files for assignments, and we saved an assignment. So if you have questions, please holler. Thank you.